Hi students, in this video we are going to draw a pentagonal pyramid whose base side and slant edge, slant height given, whose base side and slant height given, resting on HP on a side of base in such a way that the triangular face containing this edge is perpendicular to both HP and VP. I repeat, a pentagonal pyramid, say 25 mm side and 70 mm slant height. Axis length is not given, slant height is given. This rests on a side of base in such a way that the triangular face containing this edge is perpendicular to both HP and VP. That means the triangular face is in profile plane. You are asked to draw plan elevation and also a side view. Okay, let me explain what is side view. We have not yet drawn side view. Okay, now if an object is standing here, the projection onto VP is called front view or elevation. The projection onto HP is called top view or plan. Agree? Now, on the left side or right side of the object, if you assume a profile plane, agree? if you assume a profile plane on the left side or on the right side of the object and project the view onto that frame, if this is the object and if this is the profile plane, you have to look from this side, you have to look from the right side to project the view onto this profile plane and rotate that profile plane and make it coinciding with the VP. That is called the right side view or the end view or side view from the right side. It is drawn on the left side of the object, left side of the elevation. You can look from this side also if you take a profile plane here. This is the object, this is the profile plane. You look from this side, draw onto the profile plane a view, it's a similar to an elevation. And Rotate the profile view, uh, profile plane and keep it on coinciding with the VP. Then on the right side of the elevation, you will have a view that is called the left side view or view from the end view from the left side. We have not yet seen such views. We will see how to draw a side view or end view or profile view in this problem. Okay, before that, let us draw the set position, the pentagonal pyramid. 25 mm side, 70 mm land height, stand on HP on a side of base with the triangular face containing this side perpendicular to both HP and VP. I have chosen this simple position. What is this simple position? I have drawn one side perpendicular to VP, the side CD and the pyramid is resting on HP on its base. So I draw the plan first, project all the plan points to XY line draw a projector through OP, the axis, and with C dash, D dash as center, and the slant height as radius, cut an arc on the axis line to get P dash. The axis line, O dash, P dash is something else. It is less than 70. We don't know how much it is. But this is 70, so cut there. So you have drawn the elevation. Now what you have to do? You have to redraw this elevation such that C dash, D dash, P dash. What is it? It is a triangular face, which is seen as a line. C dash, P, C dash, P dash, P dash is a triangular face which is seen as a line in the elevation. That has to be in profile plane. That means, take this distance and draw a vertical line. What is this? This is C1 dash, D1 dash and this is P1 dash. Complete the elevation. Complete the elevation. What is this? This is A1 dash. Somewhere here is B1 dash, E1 dash. Somewhere here is O1 dash. This is the axis. This is another slant. You have got the elevation redrawn in such a way that the slant, the triangular face C dash, D dash, P dash, C dash, P, P dash, uh, D dash, P dash is perpendicular to both HP and VP. Okay. Draw a new plan.
New plan. Now, actually, this will be further compressed. This length, when I mark it here, has become a little bit more, and that is why the change in uh, shape. Correct shape. Actually, this will be more compressed. Now, we have to draw an NDV looking from this side. For that, we will draw an X1, Y1 here. Or a vertical line here. It's similar to an X, Y line. Project all these points to that. Then, this as center and these as radii, draw arcs and go there. Draw vertical lines to them. Draw horizontal lines to them. P double dash. P1 double dash. One for this drawing, double dash for NV. One suffix for this set of drawings and double dash for NV. Not dash. Dash for elevation, double dash for NV. A one double dash, B one double dash, C one double dash, D one double dash, E one double dash, O one double dash. You have got five plus two seven points. Now this is the object. The base is lifted up. You are looking from this side. Will you see the base? Yes, base will be visible. Base from lines. NDV. The full base is visible, so the base is firm line, axis chain line, it coincides with the, the chain line coincides with this firm line, so it is not shown separately. This is the first problem where we are drawing an NDV. So this procedure of drawing NDV can be adopted in any sort of object. Project all these points and go. Draw horizontal lines. Instead of making these arcs, you can make straight lines. Measure 45 degrees. If this is 45, this is 45, and this distance will be equal to this distance. So either you draw arcs or you draw 45 degrees. I hope you understand. So in this category of problems where NDUs are asked, usually we will not draw. Auxiliary projection. In view, show the general views in drawings in a profile. I mean, auxiliary projection by a killer. Karanam, conventional plan elevation and interview are getting comfortable. In view also is an auxiliary view, but we don't want to confuse people. We don't do that. Whenever in views are asked, in view, where again, a proca parno, upper end of conventional plan elevation, arithmetic, upper redrawing method, I adopt here. We will assume you adopt redrawing method when in views are asked. I hope you understand. Thank you.